and the weekend. It's going to feel a lot better around here today. It looks good. It just feels awfully cold out there. Uh, we have temperatures currently in the 20s for most areas at the airport. It's 22 downtown Denver. We're at 29. Luckily, there's not much wind. But when temperatures are this cold, wind chill is definitely a factor. It feels like 16 degrees in Denver right now. It felt like below zero in many areas this morning. Snowfall from Tuesday night into Wednesday was pretty impressive down along the Palmer Divide and also across the southern foothills. Higher terrain of Jefferson County we saw quite a bit. In fact, almost a foot of snow in Genesee. Roxborough had a foot. Peyton down near the Black Forest had the most along the I-25 corridor. 13 inches there. Boulder had 10 inches of snow. Littleton picked up seven and a half inches officially for Denver. 3.6 inches Tuesday night and Wednesday. That brings our total for the season to just above 40 inches. We've now picked up 71% of the snow that we usually get for the whole season here in Denver. As of today, we're about nine inches above normal. And remember our snowiest months, March and April still in front of us. Some of our ski areas in the southwest part of the state. We're measuring snow in feet from this most recent storm cycle. 29 inches of purgatory and Wolf Creek. So it's no surprise that in that part of Colorado, we do have an avalanche warning that continues until 5 p.m. today. So certainly no backcountry skiing or riding in that part of the state. You can see the clear skies back behind the uh, storm, bringing lots of snow to Des Moines, Iowa, Chicago and Milwaukee. And then south of that storm, severe weather down in the deep south. That's a big tornado watch over Mississippi and up into Tennessee. In fact, Nashville, Tennessee just went under a tornado. To watch so big concerns for nasty weather over there ahead of that storm system for us you can see the clear skies along the front range and that's why temperatures have been so chilly here this morning 21 in golden 23 right now in Greeley 22 degrees in Aurora statewide view many mountain areas finally above zero after a cold start but steamboat still at nine still not nearly as windy up there today as it was yesterday wind chill values yeah they're still cold but Luckily, the wind chill is not as much of an issue now as it was earlier this morning. Temperatures later today here this afternoon top out in the lower 30s in Metro Denver, teens and 20s elsewhere around the state. Now tonight's going to be another cold night. Make no mistake, but it's not going to be as cold tonight as it was last night for us here at lower elevations east of the mountains. Still out on the plains will be in the single digits. Now in the mountains, it's actually going to be colder tonight than it was last night, especially for our mountain valleys. Look at Craig minus 24 and Gunnison minus 21 tonight. Uh, Summit County Breckenridge drops down to minus one. Those are actual air temperatures, not wind chills. So again, another cold night, but then tomorrow, finally, we start warming back up. High temperatures in the lower 50s for your Friday. And then through the weekend, we'll stay in the 50s. We've got a four day stretch here of high temperatures reaching at least 50. That's about where we'll be over the weekend, Saturday and Sunday. We'll have some extra clouds around, which should hold us back to around 50 degrees. And then President's Day on Monday looks all right. 53 with a mix of sun and clouds during the day. It's going to be Monday night to Tuesday, Dom. We could get some snow back here in the area and then unsettled weather through the middle of next week. Most of the snow next week looks to stay in the mountains, but from time to time we could get some snow down here. So we'll keep you posted on timing and amounts as we get a little closer. Yeah, like we said, all subject to change a little here. That's how it goes in Colorado, yeah. but it definitely looks cooler again middle of next all week. Right. Ashton, yeah. thank you.